I think somehow I always knew that I was going to do something. Pretty much anybody say, you can't do it, Nancy, and I will do it. Swisher, Iowa, definitely on the road less traveled. But then one resident here has followed that road her entire life. Yes, I was always a rebel. If you look at my report cards, citizenship, Nancy is an excellent leader, but she tends to lead children in the wrong direction. Meet the rebel, Nancy Andreasen. Her daring science has reshaped our notion of mental illness. She loved science, but her parents steered her to the arts. Three bachelor degrees and one doctorate later, Nancy became the University of Iowa's first woman professor in the English department. But after the birth of her first child, Nancy nearly died of an infection. She recovered, but wondered, do I really want to keep teaching Renaissance Lit? Or do I want to do something else that will have the kind of impact on people's lives that the invention of penicillin had just had on my life? She chose the road less traveled into the University of Iowa's medical school and the mysterious field of schizophrenia. Nancy soon wrote a classic paper identifying additional symptoms but learned how hard real progress would be when the university got one of the early CT scanners. So here we were with the CT scan, and there was the brain. It was just thrilling. I needed to do a CT study of schizophrenia, and I could not get human subjects approval because people said, you'll never find anything. But when MRIs came along, Nancy saw her chance. She published the first MRI study of brain abnormalities in schizophrenics and helped set national standards for diagnosing the disease, wrote three popular books on the brain. The University of Iowa's head of medical affairs is Jean Robillard. He says Nancy used science to fight stigmas. She really made us understand that that disease is not the disease of the soul, but the disease of the brain. I think has changed the way that people perceive the disease, but more importantly, has really improved the life of these people by making them functional. Nancy's influence has gone beyond that of schizophrenia. Dr. Nora Volkow is director of the National Institute on Drug Abuse in Maryland. She drew on Nancy's brain research to study addiction, and it doesn't stop there. She has provided a framework that can be used and applied to other type of mental disorders. And that has been very, very influential. But this scientist also became a voice in national organizations and journals, shaping attitudes and patient care. And it still just angers me when people say, oh, he just has schizophrenia, can't do anything about it. This is the insula, and the insula is a- Today, Nancy teaches scores of bright minds to build on her work. And she still pioneers, studying how the brain helps creative people create, and how genomics and neuroimaging might together decode schizophrenia. Who knows what roads this Renaissance woman will take next? There's talk of writing, perhaps this time a children's book about life outside the farmhouse. It's not a raccoon. Yeah, it is a raccoon. I don't have my glasses on. Yep, it is. Yeah. By studying our brains, um, she changed our minds and so earned the highest privilege, rewriting that old report card. This little girl who uh, was a natural leader but w was leading the kids in the wrong direction, uh, now is recognized as a natural leader who leads the kids in the right direction. They just happen to be grown-up kids instead. Mm -hmm.